Hey, welcome to another episode of AI Late to Class. Going to do more image editing today with Flux Context. Got this Laura here called Put It There. So you've got, as you can see on the left, a watch on the white background. And then you just put it where you want and then press run. And it figures out where it's going to go in the picture. Uh, going to also have a look at Remove Background node. Um, this is a new update 2.9 and as you can see here it gets really fine on the hair so it can do a really nice um, removal there and we'll also be looking at going back to flux context and pulling in our image and putting a Laura here a zombie Laura and so we can zombie someone up so there's a few things here, um, so stick around. On Civit AI, and here's the Put It Here Context V4. This version came out two days ago. You can see what's going on in the samples. This new version can do transparent images, not just ones that are on white backgrounds, but apparently the white backgrounds will produce a better result. But if you don't have one with a white background, you only got transparent, then you can go for this. But you can see through these samples here, um, there's lots of applications you can use this and in lots of ways possible. It is an amazing product. Um, so we'll get into it. You can have a look through there later on. On the first sample, we're going to need a photo. If you don't have Photoshop, we've got PhotoP um, there, which is an online free sort of version of Photoshop. I've just gone file open, opened the first image and done the same with the second image. So if we look at our uh, image here of our watch I can just go select all and then I can go edit and copy go back to our other one then just go edit paste right click free transform and then we can rotate it shrink it down As you can see from the sample that I did, you don't have to be uh, precise. You just need to get it down where it's going to get what's going on and just place it where you want. If you've got it in Photoshop, same thing. Bring that in, put it there. Uh, exact same method, right? In Comp4 UI and you've dragged the workflow in, you can see this upload image box over here on the left come down now you've got two options here we've got the single image which is what we're doing now that means that we've already used photoshop or photo p to put the white um, background object in there the other option i'm going to look at later on where we upload two objects there and we can use a canvas to do it that way but this first result i'm showing you is the one that produces the best so just go with that for now um, pretty much nothing else you need to do just make sure that you have these models which is your flux context model there laura in there the here laura and you've got the flux one turbo to speed it up down here you've got your a safe tensor you've got your clip l and your t5xxl uh, text encoder my prompt here is put it here that's what you have to have first all the time and then in this situation, the woman was wearing this gold watch. Make sure you've got the word this so it knows what you're talking about. Press run and we'll see what the result of that is. So here's our output image. I'll just zoom in here on this watch. Pretty good result. Uh, have a look down here and it's got your input image and then your output image side by side. So now we'll go and look at what's the difference between this upload single image and multiple image so you've got this red box here fast groups bypasser so now we have to click this one yes um, and we come down here also make sure this box here that you change that to multiple images otherwise we're going to have problems with that too now there's a lot of uh, weirdness with this one here um, so this first image that we upload, see the resolution there, this 1216 by 832, whatever you upload that first image is what your output resolution is going to be. The second image will not change that because the second image is the one that you're putting on top. I've just uploaded this dog picture here. It's a good thing to make the white background quite close to the character uh, either side. The wider you make it, the more it'll mess up the underneath image because it won't be able to see the underneath image to blend it. 
Um, so we got to go up here and change our prompt. Try this dog in the photo. This time we press run and it's going to go through this first phase here to bring up this canvas where this watches and it'll stop. This is not like your normal uh, Comfy UI workflow. This time it actually stops and you've got to press this thing here. Now it's in the canvas window. And we put it where we want it, resize it. Then you push this button down here. Comes up with this, press this again. Right, here's our final output. Two characters that weren't made together, it's come off really well. It looks like they were part of the same sort of 3D animation type thing, but they weren't at all. It has really cut that well. Unbelievable. Going back to one of my past videos using Flux Context Toolbox, uh, I just wanted to get Laura's in there. So if you come over to here and you right click, you can then convert to nodes. And that gives you all your normal nodes there. And you can then add in your Laura over there. So I've added in this Walking Dead Laura from Civit AI. I'll have the link in the comments for that. And run that. And here's our zombie sort of Walking Dead person. Um, it sort of did the background zombie as well. As you can see, it's a lot darker than the original image. And I have um, just tried cutting out the face only. And that didn't change anything either. So... We're going to have to try and do a remove background. In my first remove background workflow, I've got it so it goes onto a white background. And this could be used if you're going with the put it here workflow. Whatever item you upload and you just want to get it on a white background, this is a good one for that. Um, but they've just released this new update, right? So this is the 2.9. So I'll just click this version here. And this is where it goes into the finer details and uh, you can also upload an image for a background with this workflow and you know it's not amazing but if you push this through back into context and you can get it to then tidy up the edges in there so for something really quick um, I think I'd be able to use this faster than I would Photoshop but anyway we'll get to our character that we want we put her in there and it goes through the um the first segmentation one and then it gets it down to the find this new node here this one over here this matting tool this is the one for the fine hairs and that right so you can see on the mat there with the fine hairs and once we've done that we can then go back into our context with our walking dead and we've just uploaded the png with the transparent background and say transform into uh, the zombie style so that sorry that is the prompt that you need right there at the front uh, and change the background to inside a house and now that one has done a nice cut right so you can't see the edges on that one so using these workflows you can come up with a process that you can avoid using photoshop and get something done real quick so if you like this, um, subscribe and continue watching my videos.